Hello all, welcome to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So it's a continuation of my previous video where I had explained basics of function. In this video, uh, I, as you know, most of my series I have only one video where I explain the concept. In the second video, I generally start off with a quick Q and A that I generally ask in the interview. But functions is something that is very important topic. So I'm extending another video uh, in this topic where I'll be explaining two things. So one is closure, another one is function nesting. So these two topics I'll cover. This is going to be quite show, short video. And for this. definitely let us start with a question and answer on the functions okay without wasting further time let's get started so uh, in javascript there is a concept of function nesting as the very word indicates you can have one function inside another okay let me first show you how to do that okay so you have a function called one that takes some parameter okay and you can have a function called function two which is inside function one okay and you can keep on adding any number of functions one inside another okay so for example if i do it here function 3 okay so keep on doing you can do it any level but with my experience of building beautiful web application and mobile application i have never gone in the function nesting for the third level i have always stick to the first and the second level you may encounter some scenario where third level is also required okay so please learn that but application wise i haven't seen anywhere okay So two functions are there now. Wasn't it is I know how to invoke num function one. I'll invoke like this, correct? And let's say I put a log statement. Welcome to Common Geeks. Okay. I always do some amount of marketing by just by putting my channel name. Okay. So if I execute it, welcome to Uncommon Geeks. You are getting so which is right. Now, uh, thing is, uh, you one you are able to invoke because one is in a global scope. so you have access to that even outside so you are able to invoke it two is something that is intrinsic to one correct so which is inside this block you cannot invoke two just by itself uh, so the way how you can invoke two is whenever you invoke one you return two you return two okay then what you do is basically you return two means you are returning the reference to that function correct then use that reference that second function's reference okay and call that function So to show you, const output is equals to one. Okay, you have invoked it. Now this statement actually returns two. So now output is basically pointing to statement two. Correct. So output. If you do this, then if you do console dot log uh, or welcome to outer function. Okay. Inner function. Got it. So let me run this and see what is the output we are getting. So welcome to uncommon gives outer function and welcome to uncommon gives in the inner function. Okay. So what has happened is whenever you are invoking this uh, the one. Okay. When you invoke the function one, first the line number two is executed. Okay. Then like this is this does not execute because someone should invoke a function to execute. Right? Just by itself it doesn't invoke. At least the all the named and the anonymous function. Okay. self invoking function as you know definitely it get executed without anyone invoking so but two cannot invoke by itself so we are returning two here and the output has a reference to two from here i'm invoking it so it is getting executed okay this is about the function nesting you already got the as the very word says function one function inside another this is the function nesting okay then i let's now let's go to the concept of uh, uh, closures okay what i'll do is i'll create a variable here const uh, count is equals to 10 okay then what i'll do is i'll try to print value of count here okay value of count is value of count is count okay first let me execute it then let's see what is happening so value of count is 10 correct so why value of count is 10 let us see obviously whenever you invoke the function number 1 so you a uh, function number 1 has access to uh, value of count in line number 10 so if you print anywhere in the in the function one scope the value of uh, count becomes 10 which is obvious right but function 2 which is inside it so this itself is a block correct so if you know lexical scoping global scope this itself is a different scope so but still it is able to access the value which is declared outside it correct so that is due to the property of closure for those of you who don't know the standard definition i'm showing that here it also forms a closure maybe wait let me remove this a closure is an expression most commonly a function that can have a free variable together with an environment that binds those variables that closes the expression 
I know this is heavy. Let's go to the second uh, statement. Since a nested function is a closure, this means that a nested function can inherit the argument and variables of its containing function. In other words, the inner function contains the scope of the outer function. So if you are someone from the engineering background or someone BCA, MC or any other bachelor degree in the computer science, and you are, if you are appearing for exam, this is your definition. So if you are someone who is looking for an interview, then this is your definition. Okay. The inner function contains the scope of the global scope global scope that itself is a closure okay so now you know what is inner function and in my previous videos you already know what are named function anonymous function parameterized function self invoking function non parameterized functions correct so and now you also know what is closure so now since you are already have a good gist of the entire function at least the all the named function um, uh, or the normal function what we call except the arrow function whatever the other functions are there now you know all the concepts in those functions so now in my next videos i'm good to start with the question and answer so thank you so much for watching this video if you like my video please do like it on my youtube channel if you want your friends also to get benefited from this please do share the video with them do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks and if you want me to make a video on any particular topic, please do let me know. I'll make a video on that particular topic. And my medium blogs are linked in the description. Please go ahead and read. I have written a lot of articles on React, uh, Angular, and uh, Ionic, JavaScript, etc. And I also link my GitHub URL where I've added all these projects. And there is a lot of questions to practice also. Go, uh, follow me on GitHub and download those projects and practice on your own. Again, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.